Hi guys. In this video we'll introduce how to adjust the parameters of Acme or P1 for the best engraving effect. Now let's take a look at these engraving products. They are engraved with a 10 watt laser head of P1, can you see the rules? Right, you may notice that the speed perimeters are uniformly set at 4800 mm per second. And the power is respectively 20%, 50%, 80% and 100% from left to right. See how to set the parameters in Lightburn. Adjust each layer's speed and power. Then start engraving. And as a result the engraving and color get deeper and deeper. So we may reach to this conclusion. Under the premise of other parameters been the same the greater the power the deeper and darker the pattern will be engraved. So if it would like to have deep and dark engraving you may choose a higher power. Now these are also engraved with a P110 wood laser head. While the difference is that this time the power is unchanged. Unified is 50%. On the other hand, speed is increasing. From 4800, 10,000, 20,000 to 30,000. See how to set the parameters in Lightburn. Adjust each layer speed and power. Then start engraving. As a result, the engraving turns from dark and deep to light and shallow. So, under the premise of other perimeters being the same, the higher the speed, the shallower and lighter the engraving will be. So if you would like to have a deep and dark engraving, you may set a lower speed. Now let's take a look at this engraving product what parameters could have been modified for a better engraving effect. That the engraving is too shallow. For better engraving effects we may reduce the speed or increase the power or both at the same time. And what about this one, the engraving is too dark and deep. For better engraving effects, we may reduce the power or increase the speed. Okay guys, as for engraving parameters we are here today. You may try and practice accordingly for yourselves. Hope it helps. See you next time.